special project complete. Old sh shrine to the benefactress. Uh, deciphering the pictograms in Back to the Factor Shrine was much a sm was a much smoother progress than anticipated. Although Ingles involved to describe the language quickly, connecting or clicking in their minds, despite its age and complexity. However, the writings are unlikely to make much sense until they are combined with the other writs associated with the rest of the Quadrate Godhead. I, I have no idea. System survey complete. Ooh, reduce cost of building outposts? Oof, taking a massive hit to influence. Uh, back to school by... Momentarily spending resources to promote higher education and programs among our leaders, their skills will improve at a faster rate. Sounds good. Do it. The populace must be taught to limit wasteful consumption resources. The public awareness campaign to promote recycling will momentarily lower our consumer good costs. Damn it. Now I'm broke. I went a little overboard. Repeated scans of Remus 1's surface give an inconsistent scan uh, sensor reading, almost as if the planet itself was in constant state of upheaval. Sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object deep within the atmosphere of disgust. Do it. Reduces leader experience by 25%. Yes, you. You'll be perfect. Now I've actually people with uh, the matched up uh, research projects. Like, they're an expert in biology. Doom biology. Military theory. Ah, oh, void craft. I've never seen a void craft guy before. I eh, don't have him. Uh, whatever. System survey complete. The amount of different, you know, stations I have down is um, messing with my um, tank. Um, 
you know, my cash flow. Trade hub. Guns. Oh, that'll be nice. It seems I could put multiple trade hubs here. Cancel the gun battery. Do another trade hub. Anomaly found. The uh, debris. The debris field, which W O A T is part of, rolls and swirls under the influence complete. of unknown forces. Empress is uh, develop new skills. Eye for talent. Um, extra one to level cap and gets twenty percent extra experience. System survey complete. What will I get from adopting it? Uh, reduces clear blocker cost. Going where we're going. The, uh, the very geological st uh, structure of Nembas 1 is, is indeed in flux, driven by what science officer Korana assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric. What, uh, what is of more interest? to the Empire of Balgaz is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self-transformation. In short, near instant civilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely more habitable, is theoretically possible. Grand Estimate said an additional 200 credits uh, will be needed to power a thorough mapping of planetary activity and determine uh, the validity of what science officer has termed a surgical terraforming strike. 
actually terraforming lies beyond their grasp at present, present, so this is an exciting opportunity. And engine credits to attempt to stabilize the planet. 50% chance. Do it. Uh, it reports the Nimbus 1 can indeed be terraformed. Narrow window of opportunity is expected to open shortly as the planet enters a particularly unstable phase of its cycle, lasting a couple of months. Karana believes that the miniaturization miniaturized explosive charges delivered to the planet's crust and strategic radiation and atmosphere during this time will halt its tumultuous changes and stabilize it in a form somewhat more suitable for sustaining life. The special project has been issued, but we do not have much time. Situation log updated. Like two years. They said a couple months, but they mean two years. Ah, got plenty of time. Anomaly found. Uh, wreckage. Mm -hmm. All right. Research complete. Uh, as the SS uh, Jabba Jab did a vote to pass through the asteroid belt on its way to, to WAT, Sands Officer the Exile reported that the ships e experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. For curious, the Exile dispatched a number of probes, scanned the debris field to discern the cause. It turns out the culprit is a number of gravitation gravity generators of old alien make. Spottering on a dying on dying energy sources, and with their polarities inverted, they occasionally spew gra reverse gravity into the void. Although, not with enough force to cause any serious harm. Not anymore. Science Officer de Exile theorizes that generators once provided artificial gravity for a large asteroid in belt. Some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. Cool. Anomaly found. Credits. We briefly take some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet research. There, I'll tie this over for a bit. Uh, the Pi aliens. Fine, get it. Actually, fleet man, uh, ship designer. Small blue laser. Yeah, I have it set to auto update, so. Whenever any upgrades come out for it, he'll buff it up. Like it already has this on. And this. Of course, you actually have to upgrade the ships themselves, and... That's costly. Actually, I can afford it. Make it a starport. Construction complete. A small scout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists to believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Those two damage to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked clean by looters yet. We'll study its design. Construction complete. Oh, uh, while approaching Mar Margab 1, the ISS U Ulus, 
uh, the builder suddenly received a glancing blow with several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on the trajectory, they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for until millennia, until the day. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. <laughs> I remember there's a line I remember hearing from one of Mass Effect games. I plan to play them at some stage. In space, uh, Isaac Newton is the deadliest motherfucker. Or something like that. It's something to that effect. It was funny. Construction complete. Do it. Influence or special project. Anomaly found. By chance we stumbled upon a faint alien signal. Anomaly found. Somewhere beneath ba uh, Boggle 2's things, unnatural structures who wet themselves against toxic surface. Do it. I keep seeing that as the, the uh, Tempests from StarCraft. It kind of works, you know, the cause, the energy ball, you know, this being the main body, the, then the wings off to the side, or the uh, cause of it. Yeah. Works. Why does it cost influence to build a base? Anomaly found. We've detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren, lifeless surface of this planet. What manner of organism would live down there? Walk without rhythm. Walk without rhythm. Um, the ISS GOM, the Merciful, has picked up a strange energy signal coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of TAD-1. It appears to be it appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital station, but atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of, of the unique signature have yielded a large amount of valuable physics data. Anomaly found. Um, the obstacle sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Tad Tree that could be buildings. Crystal Special mines. Project complete. Void clouds. A cloud reads the old report, collated from multiple sources, like a cloud of luminous star stuff bowing in the dark. The report goes on to refer to the phenomenon somewhat poetically as a void cloud. It is evident to the priesthoods of the Empire of Balgaz that these clouds are heralds animated by some higher will. Uh, exactly who or what this will belongs to is the subject of heated debate, and is likely to remain so for uh, the foreseeable future. Until such time as the void cloud's true nature are ascertained, it will perhaps be prudent to treat the immense power evident in its royal motion with some caution. The conduit for, uh, for the divine are not, it must be studied. Situation log updated. Some kind of burrowing silicone based life form inhabits a vast uh, network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Nimbus 2. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there's evidence that to suggest they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. The tunneling efforts have shuffled uh, large amounts of valuable materials to the surface. Intriguing. System survey complete. A uh, wavering signal from Myab Trie, uh, a haunt from Myab Trie, though it does not seem to originate from planet's surface. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, that's the void cloud. Well, that's potent. Point defense, barrier point defense, or disruptor. Disrupt a uh, high energy bolts that weaken and destroy micro bonds that hold targets, constitution atoms together, constituent atoms together. They are capable of passing through shields and armor, direct havoc directly on the hull and crew. Uh, defense rays of defensive armaments prove much more effective than independent countermeasures. Get this. Ship designer, new design. Don't have destroyers. Research complete. There we go. 
although it rightfully belongs to us, the Gox League has audaciously laid claim to the Maruka system. Foreign Emperor. The Ransomers. Emergency Boy. Emergency Transmission Boy flows in gentle orbit around Marab Trie. The outer casing is heavily damaged, seemingly by glancing fi weapons fire or powerful explosion. It might be a Shantarian model f for civilian ships uh, designed to be ejected as, emergen as an emergency measure should the comm system fail, but the extent of the damage makes it impossible to know for certain. It's repeating weak and certain signal. Clean it up. Situation log updated. Uh, Double right flung sauce. The Gox has claimed to the Marco system. Construction complete. Well, if they want to get here, they have to go through this and this. Uh, get a shipyard. Um. Get this. That. Special project complete. Science Officer John Doe is pr proud to report that Nembus 1 can now be reclassified as Arid rather than Baron, uh, Baron Planet. This grand experiment has greatly enriched Centarian sciences, turning 50 to physics and engineering. Gas well extract, uh, gas extraction wells. Um, grab this, I guess. I want to go get in he to this through here. Uh, they'll have to either go here or all the way around. So I'm not happy with either. Crossroads and Nebula. Could try and fortify up here as well. I can't find a good world to inhabit. Still not doing too well on the energy credits front. Upgrade it. Upkeep improves armor morale. Just increases a lot of morale. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, trade routes. Um, you have a um, trading hump stamp, don't you? Anomaly found. Uh, oh, and it has claimed System here. System survey complete. Good. Uh, they've made peace with the Gox lead. System Weak. survey complete. Our marketing campaign on Balgaz has borne fruit, and the mar uh, market powers of B have seen fit to centralize much of their activity within the Balgaz Yacht System. Fantastic. I, I didn't expect that to work. Market um, Nexus modifier, uh, Mark Fee minus 10%. An ancient uh, orbital, an ancient orbital shipyard uh, yard drifts in silence above this world. It suffered tremendous 
significant battle damage and entire sections are missing. Search it. Great capital. Piracy. How about the piracy? Hey, this has worked out differently than I thought it would. I'm quite happy with that. I thought the uh, trade routes were more pissy about things. Um, okay, I need to make some fleets. Akram uh, 4A's uh, Toxic Biosphere gives the planet a very unique color scheme. Do it. It'll, t it'll, it'll take a bloody long time, I know, but it'll, it should get him a ton of XP. I'd hope so, anyway. While conducting their survey of Vestalis 5, the ISS USAL, the builder, detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is, at, it is at least a thousand years old, it seems to be subjected to a heavy mis missile barrage, but when its manufacturing base is still in working condition. Its son's uh, officer Tetran is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, but it will be a significant project. Situation log updated. Oh, I never started this. Thought I had. Back on map. Yeah, that's going to take quite a while. I'm, pr I'm probably feeling maybe I should have used more than one ship, but the rest were doing stuff and I didn't know when they'll be free. So, construction vehicle. Bag 02 is 
crisscrossed by overlapping mineral and composite bands that are, that are elevated above the harsh surface by tall, flexible pylons. Clearly of alien origin and constantly agitated by atmospheric winds, the pylons sway and, and the overlapping bands rub together to produce sonic waves at, to Shintari, and audible frequencies. Science Officer of the Exile uh, reports some trouble isolating this audio from the natural background noise of the planet, but also notes that the material bonds could, should we choose so, be broken down and effectively uh, recycled by the Empire of Valgas. It's the only choice, so... We, uh, make preparations for salvaging the material bonds. Anomaly found. Uh... Regular si signal uh, reminiscent of our own distress patterns. Open borders. Diplomatic communication from the theocracy of Kraz. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked outside of our territory. Borders are open to you again. Were they ever open to us previously? 